No big deal, we're just trying to get the top on the brand new Jeep. Hey everybody, it's Trevor from WFO. Guess what, it's gonna rain on Monday. Even though our good friend Heather once told us that happiness is going topless, all good things come to an end. After a long, hard uh, season of wheeling, sometimes it's not that easy to get the hard doors and hard top back on. Our good friend Polly Dave from Synergy can attest to the fact that I guarantee his hard top and hard doors didn't go back on. Follow along and we'll take you on a journey and show you how to make everything fit again. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is try and remember where your hard top is. And I think we're back here. So typical dad life here. This is kind of how you store your hard top uh, for the summer. Keep it nice and flat. Try not to damage it. Don't put anything on top of it. Uh, just keep it in a safe place. So now we got to get it out of here and uh, get ready to put on the Jeep. Okay, so we've located the top. Now the next step is to locate your doors. My doors are upstairs at the shop, so I bet they're in real nice condition. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it looks like we found like the safest place. Well, let's get all this crap off. The good news is they actually put some sort of a, oh, it's like an old Jeep cover or something, right? Just like that. Here's the doors. As we carry them down, you wanna make sure you smash into everything you can on the way out of the garage or house, because I'm sure they have wax on them. You'll bang the walls, the rails, it is what it is, but just be prepared, that's how it works. Here we come. The last important thing is we need to find the hardware. You open up the back, you got your softball cleats, you got Ola, so right underneath here, there's a spot, in every jail this spot is here, it says door hinges and it says roof. And all these empty holes is where you're supposed to put the hardware when you take it apart in the spring. As you can see, um, apparently we didn't do that. Oh, that probably smells good. The odds of it all being there is slim and none. Jeep gives you this with every JL that you purchase. And this is a little toolkit for taking your doors on and off and for putting your top on. In this toolkit are the tools to do it. They are not here. We'll find the right Torx bit and move on. So this is the piece of hardware that you would normally unscrew from right here to get your half door off. It seems to me like we never put these back in when we put the half doors on, which may be the reason why when I jumped it so hard this summer, the entire door uh, fell off. Next year, we'll try and put these in. That's a little hint. You should probably put these back in because when you roll it or jump it, the doors fall off. So since we don't have to take the hardware off because it's not on there, the half doors come off pretty easy. Before you take the door off, you've got to unplug it. So you pop that loose and you take this little strap here and pop that off. This little clip, oh damn it. Ugh, hold on, Fucking this thing up. Pop that up. Slide that down, grab your door. It's a little tight. Oh, there it is. No big deal, we're just trying to get the top on the brand new Jeep. Here. Just a little uh, B pillar, a little reconstruction. What, what happened there? You'll have that on these big jobs. Oh, I'm just putting the hard top back on, oh, you know, just right. from a kind of like a summer of wheeling, just certain things you do uh, to get the hard top to go back on. It's in, the in, it's in the instruction manual on, you know, how to put the hard top back on after a summer in your 2021 Jeep Wrangler. Does it come with those tools? Uh, yeah, this, uh, this was in the toolkit uh, that came with the Jeep. Oh, nice. So, that looks pretty good. And then like, you run your finger down the edge here a little bit and the best bet is just you know, give it a couple smacks if you're a real good body guy you can feel when something's straight you know so a little bit there not so much here or you know but right about here what about the other side uh the other side that's um that was also in the manual on how to get it ready so i mean a little bit here just a Oh, look, the gas door. Watch this. Watch this. When you hit it, 
gas door pops open just a little bit. You'll have that on these big jobs, you know, like putting the top on at the end of the year. Yeah, it looks straight so, to me. Yeah, that's, that's nice. So we'll see how that works out. This is where your hardware comes into, or your tool comes into play. See this little metal piece has to go there. So we got to loosen that bolt up. So now I got to go find a Torx. Then you gotta plug this back in right in that same spot. Hook that there. Normally your wires aren't broken off. And then you clamp it back down. Then you take this. Boom, that door's in. Well, we ran into a little bit of another snafu. For some reason, just having the bikini top on over the summer has somehow pushed in this window frame and it's hitting up there as well. So these are just the things you got to deal with when you're putting your doors back on. So we're going to take the door off and get the sledgehammer back out and see if we can make it happen. No big deal here. Just, you know, just getting that top seam. I don't want a single drip inside of rainwater. You know what I mean? So a lot of times you'll, you'll come back and you'll just do a little slight body work to these windows just to keep, you know, that one little drip, that little bit of moisture, you know, outside your nice new Jeep. It's not yeah. Looks pretty good. Yeah, let's try it. So one thing you gotta remember with the full doors is this bar right here is the uh, spring-loaded deal that keeps the door open. JK's didn't have these, it's a pain in the ass. You're on a hill or the wind blows it closed. So that is the nice thing about a JL. Let's see, should be able to just, just like that, done. And this, right here, oh, huh? God, it's so hard getting in the hole. Maybe like, seems good. Here, right in, like a glove. Look at that. I mean, just right off the factory floor. I mean, I didn't even have to wiggle it around. The holes just lined right up, threading it in by hand. That's how perfect a cherry this rig is still. Hey, camera guy, put this one in. I got you, boss. That was pretty easy. They do make the holes huge, so it's kind of like a hot dog down a hallway. You've probably got a quarter inch you can be off, which is good for a job like this guy like me <laughs> threads good to go righty tidy that's always important now we're good tighten that tighten that clamp that I guess that's it Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm an idiot. So apparently one has to go on before the other and luck would have it, I put the wrong one on first. Clamp, clamp. <laughs> like a glove. Everything lines up perfect. Ready for winter. Don't worry about putting away any of your tools, any of your equipment. We'll deal with those later. You know, the job is done right when the last latch goes down. Deal with all the rest later. Hard, hard, harder than hard, hard, hard. Ball is in the air, and you know what that means. And as Heather, hey everybody, Trevor from WFO. Mother.